Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be talking about the Season 4 synopsis, so we've got a lot to talk about, I'm very excited. So they've just revealed the first synopsis for Supergirl Season 4, and this is from Episode 1, so without further ado, let's dive right into this. So this is how it goes, hope versus fear. Diving back into reporting, Kara welcomes a new cub reporter to Catco. Meanwhile, James and Lena argue about James's indictment for acting as the vigilante guardian. While Alex and Brainy struggle to get in sync at the DEO, Supergirl is called into action when remnants of the anti-alien terrorist organization Cadmus try to assassinate pro-alien leaders, but their endgame turns out to be much more sinister than she expected. Jean relishes his peaceful new life, but an outing with an old friend causes him concern. So that is a synopsis for episode 1, and there's a lot to look forward to, but there's also a lot that I'm kind of on edge about and I'll explain what I actually mean so let's go through this bit by bit so diving back into reporting Kara welcomes a new cub reporter at Catco so that is obviously Nia now played by Nicole Maines I'm excited to see what she brings along you know I think that's one of the most exciting things because always introducing new characters is very intriguing to see how good the actress is in this instance and also in many other instances and also how good the character is, how interesting they are, so I'm interested to see how that goes. Then moving on to the next bit, James and Lena argue about James's impending indictment for acting as the vigilante guardian. So personally, I'm not too intrigued with this part because I felt like that was sort of like a very rushed thing, how they just revealed that James is the guardian, you know, I didn't really feel any connection to that part, I'm not sure if that's just me or if many of you guys feel like it's not such a big idea like it was with like Green Arrow revealing himself to the public because he's been doing it for years, Guardian's been doing it for like maybe a year or so. I'm interested in the Alex and Brainy stuff because I love Alex. I'm interested to see where they go with Brainy this season. I didn't think Brainy was that good last season. I thought he was interesting but not like ultra good so I'm very excited to see where that goes along and moving on to the bit that I'm not sure about and that is that Supergirl is called into action when remnants of Cadmus try to assassinate pro-alien leaders. So personally I'm not too intrigued by the storyline that they're supposedly going down with it being all about pro and anti-alien stuff. I feel like we've touched on that back in season 2 and I don't think we need to go back and I think including Cadmus again is just stepping on old ground that personally I didn't really like Cadmus, I loved season 2, I thought Cadmus was the weakest part of it and the idea of aliens being accepted or not, I feel like we've done that already so I'm not that intrigued, I don't think it sounds that good if I'm totally honest, I'm being just straight up with you guys right here because I love Supergo, you guys know I do. I loved last season, I'm just not sure with how they're taking this new season, we'll have to wait and see obviously, but this is just my initial impressions. And so I'm looking forward to Jean as well, and seeing what his new role in the series is going to be, hopefully he doesn't get sidelined because obviously he's going to be a civilian this season, and um, which is interesting to see the way they actually take that character. Overall a mixed bag, there's exciting things in regards to Nia. Alex, Brainy, and also Jean, but I'm not so sure about the Camus thing, and I'm not so sure about the James storyline that they're going down this season, but that's just my initial impressions. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.